You're watching the World News on France 24. Time now to take a spin with what's making headlines uh, all over the internet and trending online today. Emma James Hi, joins us. Hello, for Media Watch. Uh, Emma, big day for Brexit tomorrow. Uh, can Boris get that deal uh, through the House of Commons online? How are people uh, thinking about it? Uh, yes, many, many lines of uh, conversation and discussion. Uh, but there are two in particular that seem to be dominating. Uh, will the bill be passed or will the deal be passed? Um, and is it really any different to Theresa May's original withdrawal agreement? Uh, Andy Davis, the cartoonist for The Evening Standard, doesn't seem to think so. He has a deal of the week on an extremely old clapped out vehicle. And look, it says almost new on the, draw, on the door there. Uh, I'll stake my honour on this one, Governor, says Boris Johnson. So, uh, yes, that is the view of the Brexit deal uh, from the Evening Standards cartoonist. It's not just in the UK that cartoonists are uh, finding this particularly interesting. Um, this is from the Dutch cartoonist, Joop Bertrams, um, and it has Boris Johnson as some kind of a magician, but instead of pulling a rabbit out of a hat, it appears to be a dead rat. Um, I'm not sure if the fact that he looks very much like the Joker is meant to be a coincidence, or is it intended? I don't know. Um, a lot of people talking about the fact that there isn't or doesn't seem to be a huge amount to choose between uh, the two withdrawal agreements, the one that did for Theresa May's political career, really, or at least her prime ministership. Um, amazing how easily people who resigned from May's cabinet over a deal functionally identical to this one are being allowed to say this one's great and they're voting for it. It does seem very, very odd, but there's one particular theory that's gaining a lot of traction online. Um, it sets us on a path to no deal, says this gentleman, after the transition period, just like Article 50 did, only without the escape hatch of remaining instead. Now, Sam Jima uh, was a Conservative MP who had the whip taken away from him for opposing um, or for trying to ensure that there was no, uh, no deal possibility. Uh, he's now a Liberal Democrat MP. And he says, basically, this amounts to voting for Johnson's deal is voting for no deal in a year's time. I guess we'll see, Emma, in the next uh, day, really what happens. It's all going to be unfolding. I know we'll be uh, covering it for you uh, here on uh, France 24. But uh, next from you, Emma, bullfighting. It's back in the spotlight here in France, um, and it's a fight, as the name suggests. But could it also be an art? Well, that's the question that a lot of people are asking after a group of personalities, in inverted commas, I use the term very loosely, uh, writ wrote an open letter, signed up to it. It was published in Le Figaro. Um, the best known of the personalities was Jean Renaud, the uh, actor who starred in Léon. Um, what they say is bullfighting is an art and nothing like that should be banned. Um, France, they say, cannot embody this dismal retrograde puritanism. Um, it is a very strange letter. I've read the whole thing. There is Jean Renault, if you can't remember who he is. Um, now, the interesting thing is they're saying we mustn't ban it, but no one's actually trying to. Emmanuel Macron's party has... Um, proposed the idea of stopping anyone under the age of 18, minors, from being able to attend what is a very bloody, uh, unpleasant, um, some might say, experience. Um, there are a few in agreement with Jean Renault and his friends. Uh, this person saying, there is nothing more beautiful than this magnificent art. Antis are a bunch of fools who understand nothing of life. Doesn't put it quite as politely as that. Interesting to note, though, that he chooses to use that image, not one of the more bloodthirsty ones. You'll see a lot of them online today, that's for sure. Um, this person saying, though, that uh, la corrida, or bullfighting, is not an art, but an open-air butcher's shop, and it is shameful. Not for me, I think, Emma. No, me neither. All right, well, thank you very much for taking us through some of that reaction online. Emma James there uh, with Media Watch. Uh